where we don't have enough police officers to ensure that we can provide the adequate, adequate community policing that people in this city deserve. Does Yale University want to be in a city where our taxes continue to rise and we're unable to fund the very things we want to fund because we can't attract people because our taxes are so high? And so there's this question about responsibility that has nothing to do with what other people are doing. It's to do, it has to do with what is ethical and right. And the response, I think, would be, let's grow. Let's grow our way out of these stones, right? Because if we grow, we get more tax dollars, we get more building permits, we get more people buying things. But the problem with that is we're not growing fast enough. Our grandmas grew by 0.5% this last year. That's not covering even close to that $40 million gap. Even close to it. And if we're unable to pave our streets, to fix our sidewalks, to provide that education, to provide that safety, our growth will be hindered because we can't attract the people to live in our city. We can't continue to make sure that New Haven is a place where people want to move, people want to live in. And so I think this is a defining moment for us all. And I will be presenting a budget that shows that the taxpayers have done their part, that shows that our municipal employees, who will have lost many positions, I'm not going to be laying off people, but I will be eliminating a lot of vacant positions, some that are very needed. Our municipal employees have done their part. And the remaining groups that need to do their part are the university, the hospital, and I believe the state through our suburbs. I grew up in New Canaan, Connecticut, which is the wealthy suburb of New York. And my parents pay lower taxes than I do. And they have beautiful schools, and they have roads that are paved, and don't have any crime. How is that just? This is a time when you all need to raise your voices and say we bear responsibility as a community, as a university, as neighbors, to make sure that New Haven is a place where everyone will have the opportunity to thrive. And with that, maybe I can open it up to some softball questions. <laughs> <laughs> the schools that Carnegie Mellon pays zero in pilot. And your city is the notes because there's a number of things I want to respond to. <laughs> and your city is the highest recipient of pilot funds in the in the nation. And guess who's paying it? One institution here, pretty much. You know, Cambridge. With a population that's 110,000 people, what are we here, 130,000 people? Correct. So it's a smaller population. They have 30 employers that employ more than 1,000 people. How many employers do your city have that employ more than 1,000 people? The burden is really un unfairly loaded on one school and one institution, but that, that's, that's the question. Okay, okay. so <laughs> I, said, I said median income, I did not say average. Um, but uh, it, so if there's a average house price of you said nine hundred thousand median median house price nine hundred thousand that means that their mill rate is way lower than ours and that what means is a percentage of their property value people can afford to buy those houses they pay way less than New Haven does you afterwards or if there's time you know, defer to the moderators they just a five five uh, o'clock hard stop um, but I I think it's important. Uh, to point out that uh, this this is something that if the university doesn't contribute more, where does this money come from? Where does this money come from? There, there just aren't a lot of other opportunities for us to gain additional revenue. The state, the hospital, growth, which I said is not keeping up with our ability. I'd love to grow more so we don't have to get more money from the university. But where else does your money come from? And the alternative is one where we're going to go down a road where we don't have the ability to fund the very things that help support that growth. Um, so, I, you know, I, I, my opinion is pretty clear. And I know that there's uh, a actual, uh, an increasingly small number of people that uh, think that Yale does enough. Um, we talk a lot about social justice, including within these walls. And this is a time when I think we need to really reflect on all of our responsibility. Uh, and that starts with privilege. Uh, and that starts with privilege giving more and recognizing that we are privileged and we have a responsibility to those who are not. Hmm. Do we have time for another question or should we have one more?